So uh, picking up where we left off last time, we had the uh, handshakes, uh, not to do it literally, but just a way to remember how to lock all the joints. So the first one was locking my wrist, so we did a little wrist twist. Use the key hand, the energy hand, tightening the bottom three as opposed to the top C. Turns his body over. You'll hear me say, ay, ay, or ata. He'll turn back. We also have the fingers getting pressed into the wrist, so he cuts me off from my muscles. Sometimes he's cutting me off from the tendon trice for the bicep and places the fingers into the back of my wrist. Ay, ay, or I can tap. He can move into what we call the can opener. He's going to attack my thumb and drives it into his hip. Hey. Right, so again, I can tap. We'll make that funny little sound we do for, uh, for a small circle. Then we have two sword techniques. They look like sword techniques. You can thrust the sword forward and then come under and attack the next guy behind you. That's how you remember. Tap, tap. Okay, if you can go back there for a second. So he drives it forward to disrupt the motion. That's what he's teaching himself. And then here he's going to break the wrist or shred the forearm because the muscles go in band or come right up into the uh, elbow. You'll see some of the Aikido guys do the throw from here and the guy is fine but in reality combatively he would he would uh, fracture, tear or break the arm and then I would be tossed. He comes back around and he's going to do a sword technique going the other way, working on a roof block, coming and then fighting the guy again behind him, so fighting two opponents. And again, he can toss me, dislocate my shoulder. I've even seen the clavicle uh, get compressed and break. Uh, dislocation and breaking of the wrist again, and then coming back out. And then we continue into wrist technique, so disruption. And I learned these when I was 14 under Master Rob Dory in, in the Hapkido. If you're familiar with Hapkido, some of the background, uh, we all borrow from Takeda style and uh, Dainaru style of Jiu Jitsu. So uh, the disruption and the small circle is still in effect. But just learning how to break grips. So if you see the first one, you can see it. I clap, reach up, I don't support the wrist, and I break the wrist and throw in. The second one, I continue the circle, break the wrist and throw in. The third one, I can't come up, so I press down. The fourth one, I, clap, I can come with the one hand, or the fifth one, I can come with both hands. The sixth one, I can cross over. So in all of those flows, I'm learning not to fight his energy. Hang on to that. So here, in Sun Lan, I'm going to lock him. He doesn't want to hang on. So if you see traditional Jiu-Jitsu, they'll teach you this. But they don't tell you about the punch that follows. So the idea of the functioning of, of all these drills is to make sure that you're always in a position to strike, break, or control. That's my story. Thanks.